A man at work accidentally locks himself in a large attic. He's trying to open the door when he hears a strange noise and decides to start recording. He thinks out loud that it could be a rat or a pipe as he cautiously continues to film. I'm getting kind of a spooky vibe up here. Right there. There it is again. Soon he realizes that the strange thump is coming from the very top of some steps that he has never seen before. He climbs the steps and suddenly feels like he is no longer alone. Hello? Apparently he was right. Something clatters to the ground and sends him running down the steps. I'm not sure how he managed to get out, but when he did, I'm sure he was glad he had plenty of video evidence to back up his claims. While streaming live at a New Orleans graveyard at night on February 8th, 2020, Franco TV encounters not the undead, but the living. In the beginning, he describes his first encounter with a man in the graveyard, explaining that he'd been warned that thieves in New Orleans like to come after people who explore the city's graveyards at night. He said he'd encountered this man twice already in this episode, explaining that the man was on foot, had a book bag and approached him, passed him, and then circled around while he was outside of his car walking through the mausoleum. He feels a bit shaky from this encounter and says he doesn't know if he's going to exit his vehicle again, but he follows his audience's risky advice and does anyway. As Franco is out, walking around the creepy stone grave solo, he starts to feel unsafe again and after a time returns to his car. He is examining an above ground crypt from his vehicle when he hears some footsteps. He continues to drive around the cemetery saying he heard something from behind his car that sounded like a knocking. He says he can't get out of his car again because he thinks someone else is there. In fact, there he is. After turning around, Franco zooms in on a man walking toward him down the cemetery road. What is this man doing in a graveyard at night? Is he too live streaming for YouTube? It certainly doesn't look like it. Franco doesn't know what to do but continued to drive, passing the guy seemingly without issue. He speeds up, getting out of the graveyard as quickly as possible. As he tries to find the exit, he says the man was literally chasing after his car. He says he felt the man hit the back of it, and as he flees, explains that he must get out of there and find a safe place. He then warns viewers not to enter a New Orleans graveyard at night, as if we needed any warning after watching this. The origins of this video are mysterious, and the footage even more so. Published to YouTuber Chibonk182, the short clip is entitled Kuyang Dayak. The video shows what appears to be a beast human behind a cage. The creature seems to have an animalistic body, although no animal on Earth has ever looked like this. <laughs> While its ghost white face is that of a human male's, with long shaggy brown hair, the face looks perturbed by chit-chatting of the onlookers, to say the least, but it just continues to lie there on the blue flowered sheet, its limbs moving slightly. Also known as the Krasu in Cambodian mythology and Krasu in Laos, the Kuyang spirit is ubiquitous across the folklore of Southeast Asia. The figure appears with the head of a woman, with its internal organs trailing below her. Is that what it is meant to be? If not, then what in the world is it? A thing of myth and legend or not? This clip does one thing right, it makes you shudder in horror. Will fish soon walk on land? It looks like one's already there. Published to the oddly terrifying subreddit, Redditor Big Black Onyx writes the cryptic message, they are evolving. The mysterious video shows a large fish on a slab of snowy ice jutting into the water. The oddly terrifying fish appears to be standing up on its fins, taking in great gulps of air. Many have reacted to the walking fish, which has become the subject of numerous memes. 
originally appearing in iFunny. Posted by user Saika Gamberger in December of 2019, the video has been viewed, liked, and tweeted millions of times, and that's perhaps due to its unnerving nature. Redditor Sci-Fi Ship Controller remarks, not sure what is more unsettling, that it stands or that it breathes. Jonathan F.O.D. and his friends go exploring an abandoned meat processing when exploring the deepest depths of a mine shaft, the last thing you want to run into is the paranormal. Proving demons claim their crew did just that. Publishing this video recently in May of 2019, the YouTube team writes, During a routine exploration of an abandoned mine shaft and railway tunnel, we saw something unbelievable as we turned a corner into a tunnel. The mine itself is creepy enough. You can hear water running and dripping. It's muddy, dark, and to put it simply, it's not a place you'd want to meet another being, passed away or alive. And about 17 minutes into the exploration video, it appears they do. A light can be seen in the dark distance. What the hell is that? Is this a mine? Don't know. You guys, what the heck? Why is there a light down here? We can't walk through that. Is there noise there? Why is there a light at the end of this mine shaft? Only the ghost holding its candle could answer that. The team doesn't stick around to find out, and who can blame them? The fact that a light was visible so deep in the mine gives me no other choice but to believe this is paranormal. Are you working shoulder to shoulder with ghosts? YouTuber Graham Lee is, and this time they caught the spirit in the act. Watch the left hand corner of the screen. See the box is sitting flat on the shelf before it slides forward and then leaps to the ground. You see that there? The uploader writes that there was no way anything could have pushed it off. To be honest, it's hard to tell from this angle if that's the case. Ooh. You see that there? That's Something may have fallen behind it, propelling it forward, or perhaps it was somehow unstable on the shelf to begin with. So before I conclude, this was the act of a phantom co-worker. I'm going to need to see more footage. While playing a virtual reality game, this dude leveled up. YouTuber Mario Lara posts this video of what appears to be a tiny being entering into his virtual reality. Watch the doorway behind him. At first, it looks like a small child. But it moves too fast to be anything human. Has a figment from this man's game stepped into his reality? I think that may be what's happening here. Or maybe we've all become so digitally disconnected from reality that we're glitching into the matrix. Mind blown. If mysterious creatures with tails make you nervous, then strap in for this video posted to Reddit by Scentless Grape. The video shows horsehair worms leaving their host. Horsehair worms are parasites that usually range from 2 to 3.9 inches long and are often found in bodies of water and other damp areas. Only the larvae are parasitic on beetles, cockroaches, and other insects. In this case, what appears to be a praying mantis, watching something that is 100% real and insanely disturbing, is enough to make anyone nervous. Can you handle this horror you can't ever unsee? Nah. 
Neither can I. Barrett Rod suspending the day kayak fishing. When a terrifying creature suddenly takes flight above water, at first it just sits on the surface and then it makes its move. The bizarre creature is larger than Barrett's arm. It has a snake-like body, a large hole for a mouth, and two elongated fins that look very sharp to the touch. At 8 seconds into the video, Barrett raises his hands in surprise, but I doubt it would have been enough to protect him. Fortunately, the animal changes its trajectory at the last second and silently sinks back into the water. I guess it must have bitten through the fishing line. A man claims that he keeps experiencing paranormal activity in his dining room and nowhere else. He feels unsafe and decides to leave a camera running in the dining room to see what goes on when he's not around. Nothing happens for a while, but then something comes along in the window that looks questionable. This is the zoomed in version. A tiny face appears to peek out at them from the glass panel on the bottom right before darting out of sight. You can't really make out any of its features, but notice how some orbs float by shortly before this happens. It's hard to tell if it's a paranormal creature or just a small animal, but I wouldn't want to be left alone in the house to find out. A YouTuber named Sonia said is making a vlog about life in general when she decides to take a rest in the park on a nice Sunday. Big mistake. I have some guy staring at me in front of me. He's been like holding the tree. Notice how he lines himself perfectly out of her sight. He could come from behind and she wouldn't be able to see it coming. What are you doing? You guys are about to see him right now. And I am gonna leave. What a weirdo. There he is. So weird. People are so creepy. He is definitely facing her way when she decides that she's had enough. And now we get up and go. He's still facing her direction long after she goes, arms innocently behind his back like nothing's wrong. So creepy. People are so creepy. Now, if this stranger's behavior doesn't make you say bruh, I don't know what will. This video was taken on a creature expedition deep in the woods of Alabama. Is this an unknown creature caught on tape? They think they see a figure hiding between two trees, and when they zoom in for a closer look, they hear a deep noise. Well, some people think this is a cryptid noise. I'm pretty sure it's just the sound of the zoom lens going in and out of focus. Do you think this is a creature sighting they've caught on camera? I think they were just creeped out in some admittedly scary woods. A person with an interest in graveyards is casually filming when they accidentally pick up a bizarre and possibly dangerous watcher. You can see a blurry shadow as it takes a few steps out from the other side of a wall, but the person recording doesn't seem to notice. It wasn't until much later that they reviewed the video and found the hidden lurker in the distance. I personally think that this could be CGI because the resolution of the video seems to have been lowered, which is always a sign of amateur effects. Then again, the person recording may have been using a cheap camera. Or maybe this is an older video. And a user Pentax25 says that his dad captured something rather unnerving on his porch camera late at night on a breezy April evening. The OP says he has no idea what exactly was captured and is in need of second opinions. Take a look at this piece of footage and make sure your volume is up relatively high. It's chilling. I just wasn't expecting that scream there. That was absolutely terrifying. Really caught me off guard. 
Especially just that one lone screen in the middle of the night. And apparently something else is also captured here. Right there, just those very faint whispers. So th that's just absolutely bizarre, this whole video between that one scream, and I know the usual explanation when it comes to these screams is, oh, it's it's like a, a fox or some sort of animal. What really I think makes this video terrifying is that that can't be the case because there's also these very distinct whispers heard. But obviously that scream is by far just the scariest part of this video. Let's play that back one more time. It's absolutely terrifying. And there are the whispers. The video goes on for about another full minute after the last sound can be heard, but sadly, or luckily, depending on how you look at it, no other sounds can be heard afterward. Opinions on what was making these terrifying noises are divided, with some saying that it could just be something simple like a fox roaming around late at night through the neighborhood or some other animal, but as you can expect, others are thinking that it could be that of a skinwalker, a creature in Navajo folklore that is said to be a dangerous witch that has the distinct ability to turn into, possess, or disguise themselves as an animal. Looking at this video footage, that description seems eerily accurate. For those of you who haven't heard or don't remember, on August 13, 2018, a man named Chris Watts made national headlines after taking the lives of his two daughters, Bella and Celeste, and his wife Shanann, who was 15 weeks pregnant. Two police investigators and a special canine handler now searched the Watts residence on August 14th, one day after Shanann was reported missing. They are confident that their dog will be able to sniff out any DNA evidence that Chris Watts may have tried to scrub away. What they find instead is an abundance of paranormal evidence as recorded by their chest-mounted camera. Like this part where I hear the unmistakable laughter of a child as they pass through Bella's room at 12 minutes and 32 seconds. Listen for yourself, there's no denying it. Yes. I'm hoping that was a motion-activated doll or something, but I doubt it, especially given what else they hear in the next room over. A voice says something like, I have CC, which is short for Celeste, and they are standing in the room of Celeste too. Then again, I think it could be the K9 handler saying something under her breath as she checks the closet, so maybe it's not paranormal after all. Things get weird once again as they enter the garage. Another voice, a woman this time. But it could be the officer whispering something to herself. Moments later, they pass by these containers in the garage. Containers Chris was believed to have used to transport the bodies from the house into his truck. The dog sniffs them, but everything looks clean. Something has set him off down in this area. As they are walking away, they record this. It's a wail of agony coming from all directions at once. But that's not all. The most compelling evidence occurs in the very beginning, but I've saved it for last. Check out the top of the stairway on the left when they first enter. There is some movement that I find very strange. It could be a trick of the light playing across the rails, but I see a little girl rushing down the steps. A girl with a short haircut. She vanishes before she reaches the bottom. And this event also coincides with a shadow figure sighting recorded by police on a different night after the home security alarm mysteriously went off on its own. It's in the same area and roughly the same size as before. A poor girl, lost, looking down at the entrance and disappearing before she reaches the bottom of the stairs. Remember that guy who was caught on a ring doorbell video licking someone's doorbell? Well, we've just found his soulmate. Posted in December of 2017, the footage shows a young blonde woman approach the doorbell. 
At first, it appears as if it was provoked by a dare. The woman walks up to the doorbell, holds up her hand strangely, as though she knows she's on candid camera, and then looks over to her right, as if looking at someone out of frame. But then she walks back, just standing awkwardly, looking around at random. Before approaching the door again, is she waiting for someone to answer? Maybe, but what she does while waiting is not normal. The woman opens her mouth wide, moving closer to the camera, and you can actually hear her bite. She then backs away again, as though nothing happened, appears to be waiting for a moment, then starts to do this. While it's all well and good to get your daily exercise in, doing that on someone's doorstep late at night after biting their security camera seems a little out of it, don't you agree? A YouTuber named Low Tech is a racing enthusiast who finds himself running from the cops after a drag race goes wrong. Here you can see his opponent pulls over while Low Tech decides to keep going, or at least that's what I think is happening. Let me know if you see something different. Low Tech turns the corner and quickly hides behind the dumpster of a warehouse. He stays there for an hour before escaping with his freedom. After watching this video, I certainly think he could have gotten in trouble for posting the video online. Though considering the video is from 2017, it appears Low Tech didn't get in trouble for the footage. When you're babysitting, sometimes you feel like someone may be in the house watching you. This TikTok video will have you double checking that all your doors are locked. The dude in the video, TikTok handle Tanner J. Shelton, claims that he just put the kids that he's babysitting down for the night when he heard laughter. It was 10.30 p.m. At first, he was annoyed, as it was the third time he had to tell the kids to get to bed. As the noises were coming from the baby's room, he assumed the other kids had woken up to check on their sister. So he checked the baby monitor and he saw this. What is that in the top left corner? Looks like a hand reaching in the baby's crib. Redditor MXGIWiz writes on Reddit, After this video, the infant was kidnapped apparently. His caption was, I'm never babysitting again. Though I think it would be on the news if that happened, and this man would certainly be a suspect, but that doesn't stop people from hypothesizing. Redditor mmocker 98 adds some intrigue to this story, recounting that there's an even stranger video on this guy's YouTube channel. Mocker writes, I believe the one with the woman, video number five I think, could possibly be fake, but what if it's not? What if this is all real? It's giving me this weird gut feeling, and I can't find too much information. You know what they say, always trust your gut. What is your gut telling you about this one? Dominic Mancuso has been involved in an ongoing feud over something he doesn't even understand. All he knows is that his neighbors are apparently obsessed with watching him and making him feel as uncomfortable as possible. It's all part of a six-part series that spans over the course of months. Very little of their behavior makes any sense. When Dominic finally has had enough and confronts his neighbors, this is apparently all they have to say. <laughs> The strange laughter coming from Dominic's neighbor is both creepy and slightly concerning at the same time. His neighbor ducks under the fence and keeps bothering him later in weird new ways. By the end of it, Dominic still has no idea what his neighbors want from him. And quite frankly, neither do I. I like screaming or something in this tunnel. I'm gonna go check it out. You may think you're ready for this list, but some scary videos you're just not meant to see. The boy in this video says he hears something in this tunnel that sounds to him like a scream, so he decides to go investigate. But no, the boy enters the darkness with nothing but a void at the end of it. For a while, all you hear is his own footsteps, then you hear this. Oh 
sounds like Alien vs Predator up in here. The kid stops for a moment, and in that quiet, a couple footsteps splash through the water. He then says hello to the creature he cannot see, before heading forward again. But he doesn't get very far. The rattling sound echoes throughout the tunnel before the thing starts to screech in a way that makes your insides tremble. As he runs, the creature quiets for a time but lets out a final terrifying screech as the boy exits the tunnel, likely wondering what in the world he almost happened upon. Is this for real? If so, what lies in the depths of this underground? Dark Dominator thinks it's the rake. Well, the last one suggests it's a feral hog, but I've never heard a rattle like that from a hog before. Lesson learned. The next time you hear screaming in the darkness, it's best to run in the opposite direction. Salmon is supposed to be good for you, but this piece has something extra inside of it that definitely isn't. Maybe they'll give me a discount on that one. Huh. As he captures the creature on video, 25 seconds is when the worm finds a soft spot and plunges back inside. This video is especially terrifying when you realize this is not abnormal, nor is it the store's fault. Most salmon is infected with these worms, and improper cooking could introduce a live one into your system. So remember, worms wiggling in your food is a common occurrence that is occasionally caught on tape. And don't forget that you're still eating crunchy ones even when properly cooked. I think they should put a label about it on the packaging because most people probably don't know about this slimy little problem and could have eaten them already, including me and you. Some scary videos just stay with you, so much so that you wish you'd never seen them in the first place. This video comes from Ghost Crusaders, published to YouTube in April of 2020. This episode explores the haunted Lexworth Village. The crew's very first haunted location, which they investigated in 2014, located in Rockland County, New York. In a 1921 report, over half of the residents in Lechtworth were youth, 328 of the 506 patients, ranging from the age of 0 to 16. This fact may contribute to the negative energy in the village, as many Lechtworth staff said a scarcity in necessary supplies, as well as food and water. Lechtworth's conditions were exposed through photographs and media investigations, and although reforms were made in the 1970s due to public pressure, Lechtworth permanently closed in 1996. Since then, the complex has fallen into decay. Everything remains how it was left, instantly abandoned. The Ghost Crusaders explores this institution and all its appalling history. The crew notes in the comments, while using an SB-11 spirit box, I never thought I captured any EVPs. It wasn't until reviewing the footage for this episode that I heard the voice, and yes, I can hear other voices like multiple people talking, which I do say at one point, but I edited it out for timing, but I can't make out what they are saying. If anybody's in here, at one point, the EVP captures a voice saying, So if something comes through, it should be irrelevant. So it's much harder to get interference. So if something comes through, it should be irrelevant. A moment later, the voice pleads, Please don't hurt me. Later, when they are in the bathroom, a voice, potentially from a phantom orderly of the hospital, tells them to sit, as if directing them to do their business on the toilet. Yes. Some of the EVPs mentioned are not very clear, but the female scream that's heard through the spirit box at one point is definitely frightening. Later, their cameras run out of battery, and while they're changing the batteries, the audio of the EVP is still captured. A voice says, leave me alone. 
At the same time, the investigator, who heard the voice in real time, Dan, says he felt a cold breeze on the back of his neck and he felt someone was standing behind them, whispering into his ear, Would you have the stomach to visit Lexworth Village? Neither would we. Who's sitting in this chair? YouTuber Mods Gaming captured a ghost of rockin' on camera. Watch the rocking chair. I think the chair rocks too purposefully and for too long to have been knocked before starting to record. I also don't see any fishing line or something else that could debunk this. It looks to me like someone is sitting in the chair, actively rocking it back and forth. My guess is it's grandma. Come back to visit. On January 15th, 2013, YouTuber Mr. Hutch117 posted this strange sound heard in the forest. I wouldn't be out in the nighttime. Where did it come from? We're in the middle of nowhere. The man filming asks. The man believed it was coming from up above somehow, though it also seems to come from every direction. He and his hiking partner had just heard a noise that was a bit off-putting. He decided to turn on his phone's video to capture the sound if they heard it again. Halfway through the footage, you can hear why they were concerned. The sound sounds off again, and it seemed like the guttural laughter of a demon. Maybe one twenty twelve. It was it was twenty thirteen. Then comes on a deep and echoey wailing. Something that's not human, not animal, not anything known. Well, viewers think it must be fake because the people in the video are reacting much to the frightening sound. Others suggest it could be related to the mysterious trumpet-like noises heard worldwide, and some say it could be the US government project HARP. What do you think it is? A team of ghost hunters are inside of an abandoned home when they catch what appears to be a transparent phantasm at the top of the stairs. Hold still for a second. Hello? I'll admit that I did not see what they were talking about at first, but when you replay the video at half speed, it's easier to see a clear outline of a person's head and shoulders. The figure starts out facing the camera and then darts through a door on the right. I'm not sure if this is CGI or not, but let me know if you can see it, and if so, what you think it was. A man is cooking in his kitchen when a black mist appears behind him. Look for it on the left side of your screen. The man has his back turned and does not seem to notice what's going on behind him. What's especially strange is how the black mist starts to back away from the door when the man heads into the other room. Once the homeowner is safely out of view, the mist turns very dark and quickly darts in front of the doorway. No clear explanation has ever been provided, though I'd like to hear yours. Whatever the thing is, it's never been recorded again since. About 4.30 in the morning when a ring doorbell camera motion sensor goes off, there's some weird lights in the corner, but most Chills fans know by now that this is simply a spiderweb strand swinging back and forth in front of the camera. Even Lexus V says so in the description of this video. But with that said, I have no idea what happens next. A strange light appears at the window that they've never seen before and have never been able to explain since. The bizarre object hangs around long enough to make his dog go crazy. Another reason I think this video is real. There's no faking that kind of reaction from a dog. That animal knows something out there is a big threat. But what is it? YouTuber Chad Miller found a secret room in the attic of his house. You don't see this every day, he writes. You certainly don't. It looks like Chad is just moving into a new house, and now the fun begins. It's time to explore it. 
Inside a closet, he finds a ladder-like stairwell leading into a secret hidden room. As he crawls in, you find that it doesn't look like any old attic, unfinished with cobwebs and stacked with unruly odds and ends. Instead, the attic looks well finished with wooden walls, light fixtures and a nice clean space. It's like a sauna but air conditioned, Chad says. It does in fact look like a sauna. The room is rather large, with all wooden walls and even a couple of wooden benches. What was this super secret room used for? We can only guess. All I know is that I wouldn't mind finding this secret room in my new home. Douglas Daniel has caught two scary moments on camera. One is pretty obvious while the other is for the most observant eye, so don't blink. Here it goes. Oh. A rock slide bangs a barrier open before this guy even has a chance to take their hands out of his pockets to protect himself. And if that was one of the smaller rocks, think about what any of the larger ones would have done to him. He isn't the only lucky person in this video. A rock climber is right next to the action when the rocks let loose. I wonder if something they did caused this to happen. If so, I can only imagine how bad they would have felt if somebody got hurt because of their mistake. Sometimes evil energy sticks around a place long after bad things have happened there. This is one of those cases. YouTuber Brittany Crabb posted this video in June of 2014 writing, exploring a scary haunted bridge that is haunted by a boy named Douglas riding a bike and a creepy man. So scary. Brittany says in the video that she's in the woods near her house, looking for an old bridge near which a young boy had his life taken. According to Brittany, the boy was riding his bike and the man was standing near the bridge and offered him candy. But when the boy approached, the man took his life and shoved him in the ponds beneath the bridge. People who visit this bridge feel a bad energy there and they believe it's haunted by the boy Douglas. According to legend, you can hear the bicycle bell as he crosses the bridge. When she finally arrives at the bridge, she stands in the middle, feeling the creepy vibes everyone talks about. And as she's standing there, disturbed, the bicycle bell sounds, fleeing the scene. I think I just heard the bike. She claims she just saw the man, and somehow she gets lost. She returns to the bridge, but the bicycle bell rings again, causing her to drop her camera. Someone picks up the camera in the end, but who? And apparently this bridge and the story really do exist. Several in the comments mention knowing hearing the story. One YouTuber, Golden M, writes, I heard about that bridge and my cousin lives close by it in the woods and she went to explore it and she said she heard the bike and she also saw the man and kid. Would you dare visit this bridge? I certainly wouldn't. Dennis from Dark Life captures what can only be a demon in this abandoned house. After his lantern mysteriously shuts off, Dennis scrambles in the darkness. Finally, he gets it turned back on. He thinks the poltergeist is campaigning against him, so what next? The demon is in the adjacent room. He leaves for a moment and when he returns, everything is on. Is the demon playing tricks on him? Or is he standing there watching him? I can feel the demon's presence in this one, and I can't get that sound out of my head. 
this possible deep web video was discovered and posted by a YouTube channel called Grizz Overkill. In it, two bizarre looking figures walk forward in jerky, unnatural movements. The first one is dressed like a witch and has long, gnarled limbs and fingers on display. The second one is dressed the same way and is wearing what I hope is a mask and not its real face. Let me know if you recognize these figures from any television or movie series. I would feel a lot better knowing that this is just a film set and not a real video. If this does turn out to be real, then I don't even want to know its location or the surrounding circumstances. Knock knock. Who's there? Published by C's Crazy Crossroads in March of 2022, C is exploring a random creepy house in the woods that looks like it's abandoned. But is it? Chris and Joe first hear this ruckus coming from another room. He says the drain cover moved. This freaking thing just moved. What is it? The, uh, a drain like cover thing. Later, as he's capturing footage of walls that have been punched in and the wallpaper torn off, his camera light keeps shutting off despite having good battery life. If I could get my light going again. I don't All right, there's still battery life on my light and it keeps shutting off in here for some reason. Light. Yep, this light on top. He then hears something break and then his light goes out again. Is something unpleasantly paranormal lingering here? Unseen. It seems like Chris and Joe got out just in time. Let's see, 36 or... That was weird. And the light went out. All right. When a couple ventured into a lake on their one year anniversary, they set up their video camera to capture their celebratory swim. Little did they know they'd be capturing their last moments together. The couple was in the scenic region of Yemen. The footage shows the man setting up their video camera and entering into the water to join his wife. It appears, however, that the depth of the lake was not what either had expected. His wife was only waist deep, it appears, as she stands fully up upon greeting her husband. Holding hands, they seem to be playing and splashing each other. Then he takes a step deeper and goes under. He starts splashing around, as does his wife. It's unclear whether he had a hold of her, but both are soon being pulled under. The last thing you see is a hand reach up desperately and then stillness. A few hours after this happened, their camera was discovered near the lake by a passerby. In watching the clip, they witnessed the couple's final moments. The video was uploaded online where it went viral. It's a scary thought to have your final moments alive go viral on YouTube. It's incredibly sad that a happy couple passed away in such a disturbing manner. Get out. Published by Ratatat Tad MC Channel in October of 2021 and originally posted to Twitter by at H-A-Y-A-T-I-J-T-S. This is the creepiest witch who ever appeared on camera. The video shows an old woman in tattered clothing with long gray hair moaning on the ground of her shack. Her face is what's so scary about this. You can't make out any features but a great gash for a mouth. <laughs> As this brave woman steps away, the witch springs out from her shack, crouched down low. She crawls creepily on all fours across the ground toward the woman. The woman appears to be doing some martial arts toward the witch, preparing to defend herself. The witch then gets the better of her, casting a spell her way. This throws the woman on her side, and she sounds like she's choking, but she writes herself. <laughs> the witch then casts another spell, throwing her back again. The woman is really straining this time. The witch may have won this battle, but will she win the next? I guess it's this woman's decision if she'll ever return here again. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Leaked video comes from the Kalovsky Airport in Russia. One of the planes loses all stability and wobbles unsteadily, trying its best to navigate a safe path through heavy air currents. The pilot continues to wrestle with the controls, which are becoming more unstable by the minute, and I think I see a small fire under the wheel. If he misses the runway here, there's no circling around for a second chance. The wings dip unevenly as the plane disappears behind the tree line. No one can see what is happening and they listen for the worst. A short while later, the plane miraculously emerges from behind the trees and touches down. The passengers get to live another day. Number okay guys, some weird stuff has been happening in my room and I feel like I need to document this. Safi B has a collection of haunted dolls that seem to have been moving on their own. She explains how no one can be going inside to move them because she keeps her door locked during the day and after she's finished, she hears this noise. I haven't told you guys this, but like lately I've been hearing my door rattle and it's like the movement is not coming from the door, but rather from somewhere deeper within the room, which she has clearly shown to be empty, except for her and her dolls. And soon she finds her answer. No. No, no. A solid black Ouija pointer falls off the shelf and lands in many of these drone on human encounters. The drone is more the predator than the prey, but in this encounter, the drone operator is kind of both. Jacob Vetter, who published this drone footage in May of 2015 and claims that this crazy lady was doing weird stuff on his porch. In the video, you can indeed see a woman on a porch, dressed with her t-shirt overhead, when she spots the drone up above. She does as most people on this list have done. She tries to knock the drone out of the sky. First, she uses a stick. That doesn't go over so well. Then she tries plush dice. That doesn't work either. Next, she is seen swinging what appears to be a black purse, but she doesn't throw it. Instead, she puts it on and leaves the yard and paces back and forth waywardly on the sidewalk. It's uncertain what she's waiting for, if she's waiting for anything at all. Finally, she gets on her bike that's been parked on the sidewalk all along, and she takes off rather clumsily, circling around the yard, then jutting out right into the road. It appears that she's definitely on something. What we can only guess, but the biggest question is, what was she doing on this guy's porch in the first place? That guy Aaron has $100 to blow, so he orders a deep web mystery box to see what he can find. Inside the box is a type note suggesting that he made a mistake ordering this box, and things get weirder from there. Aaron slowly begins pulling out items that, when put together, recreate the scene of a horrible atrocity. Duct tape, surgical gloves, zip tie cuffs and an old hand-turned screw that people would use instead of an electric drill are all found inside. Then there's this quick old video clip of a female stranger. Something about this short video feels very dark and sinister. Could the girl seen here also be the same person who these instruments were later used on? I guess that staging all of this would not be that hard. Nobody is sure what the US forces are doing in this 2014 video taken from an undisclosed location somewhere in New Mexico apparently. Soldiers kneel down as a blast rips through the air. It looks like it hits nothing at all but then the edges of the ripple inward to reveal what could be the outline of a giant round invisible creature. Some people are claiming this is simply a drill using new technology we don't know about. Others say that this is not an exercise at all but rather a real desert battle with a creature. Listen to the noise it makes and tell me if you think this is the sound of a passing fighter jet or the terrifying roar of a real monster.
very good hits. Is this a ghost or not? Is what the uploader of this potentially paranormal video wants to know. First, let's watch this intro. Welcome to Inspector Gadget. As soon as he introduces himself, an object moves by itself behind him, or maybe a ghost introduces itself in return, he suspects. I think the object fell forward on its own because it was top heavy. This video could explain a lot of other alleged ghost sightings on YouTube where an object moves on its own, but I don't think this was faked on purpose. Just a coincidence is all. What do you think? Real ghost or not really? Michael Luongo catches a shapeless form floating around his basement that he can't explain. You can see it best during the first five seconds of the video when one half stands out against the steps. It's also barely visible in the reflection of the television here at 10 seconds. And when Michael turns back at the stairs, it's already gone. I'm thinking that there might be something wrong with the camera to make this blurry object appear. But then again, it does happen to be floating right above this access panel behind the sofa. So maybe Michael should open it up and see if anything is waiting for him in the wall. An outdoor restaurant is about to be creepy, and it's all caught on CCTV tape. This top right couple seems to be having an intense conversation. At 10 seconds, there is some chest pounding on both sides. It looks like a bad breakup or something until 25 seconds when he stands up and is ready to storm out but then points at the food lodged in his throat. They weren't having an argument at all. He was slowly becoming more and more unable to breathe. She starts patting him on the back but apparently this is a big mistake. I am not giving any medical advice but the Mayo Clinic says not to do this unless you're trying trained to deliver a special back blow between the shoulder blades. From what I've read, patting someone on the back can sometimes make the food move further down the windpipe and get even more stuck. A brave restaurant worker gets behind him, makes a fist with one hand slightly above the belly button, grabs his fist and gives a quick upward thrust as if picking him off the ground for a moment. This is called the Heimlich Maneuver, and it's a good thing somebody in the restaurant knew it. Most states have laws in place for restaurant staff to have this kind of training, and this scary scenario caught on tape is exactly why. I encourage everyone to get the proper training because you never know when this could happen to someone nearby, maybe even you. There must be no scarier feeling than having an entire crowd watch you helplessly while you can't breathe. This man who helped him is truly a hero. A YouTuber in India named Ghost Live Raja has caught on livestream what he claims is real paranormal evidence while exploring an abandoned building known only as the Ghost House. He burns a candle to invoke the spirit world and soon some pretty creepy moments are caught on livestream that he hasn't been able to explain. The sound is coming from the other side of the blue door, but when they open it, nothing but forest overgrowth is on the other side. Or at least that's what I thought until I saw what appears to be a figure, half concealed, looking right at them at 6 minutes and 10 seconds, there for a moment and then mysteriously gone. <laughs> This still image taken at that same time better illustrates what I mean. A strange figure with a black hood covering a bony, smirking face. Outside he finds this strange triangular formation that he calls a ghost warning. I think he might be talking about witchcraft, but I'm not sure what he means so fill me in if you know more. He also comes across this pile of raised earth and rubble with a cross planted at the top. Something tells me this is the source of the activity. Whatever or whoever is buried under this rock pile is probably responsible for haunting the house. A lot of children have had the misfortune of being singled out and picked on by their own personal bully. But there's one child in Spanish town, Jamaica, who has had the worst luck of all. He says that they are being bullied by an evil spirit. 
and his parents and local town all believe him. Plus, there's video evidence for proof. His face has been blurred out to protect his dark secret. One video shows him sitting in a chair with his family. After being asked a few questions, the ghost decides to take control of the situation. Although he could have been pushing off the ground with his feet, you can't see the floor in this video so it's hard to tell. One thing is for sure though, look closely and you can see the boy's hand right arm fly straight up in the air. It's definitely as if he's being grabbed by the wrist and jerked straight back. If he is faking it, then he is a very good actor. Okay, take a look at the second video and tell me what you think. He is just standing against a wall in his neighborhood when all of a sudden... You can clearly see his whole body in this video as the left leg suddenly shoots up, almost as if someone is pulling him by the foot. Again, if this is fake, then he is a great actor with even better balance. It looks like he really is about to fall flat on his face until his mother rushes in to save him. If a ghost really happens to be crossing over into the material realm and grabbing a hold of his shoe here, no one knows exactly why. Still, the local bishop has no doubt that this relentless ghost bully is real. A family is watching television. When a a mysterious knocking sound pulls them away from their show and into a frightening situation. Listen to this part and tell me if you can hear it too. They sit up and hear two more knocks, much deeper than before. It almost sounds like two heavy footsteps coming from within the room. As he opens the door, but according to him, there was nothing to protect the home against. Absolutely no one was on the other side. One more observation, an orb happens to go by at the exact moment they hear the knocking sound, which I think could be a signal that someone's already found its way into their home. These underground tunnels in Manchester, England were once used to escape air raids in the 1940s. Countless people huddled for their lives down here in mass, and their collective fear is thought to have left a haunting impression ever since. Now a YouTube channel called Dark Arts TV investigates these tunnels to see what he can discover with his own eyes. It isn't long before his blue light shines upon a real thin figure standing at a bizarre angle. They are a good distance away, but it looks like they might be wearing baggy trousers and a vest with oversized sleeves, reminiscent of the 40s era. If this is not a ghost to you, then what do you think this is? As he turns the corner, his camera picks up what appears to be a pair of human legs hanging out a small hole in the wall. <laughs> What's most terrifying is how Dark Arts TV doesn't seem to notice the legs at the time, as if they weren't visible in real life. And to further back this theory, when you pause at 24 minutes and 28 seconds, the beam of his flashlight seems to move through them. Finally, as they prepare to leave, they encounter this shadowy face directly behind them. It doesn't look like a person per se, but rather the fading memory of someone who was present, now doomed to repeat a terrifying moment forever. Eyebrows, a hairline, the chin, you can even see at the bottom here, if you can just catch the end of my thumb, where I'm covering now, there you can see the line of his neck as his head is bent round the corner. Joe Rob TV sees something on the side of the road that's so creepy. He isn't even sure if he was imagining it or not, so he has to take a second look. This time he has his camera ready to record. What the f Oh what the f Oh what the f the strange person slowly approaches with their hands in their pockets, almost like they've been expecting him, and Joe Rob quickly speeds off. It's hard to tell if they are wearing a Halloween mask or if their facial features are really that oversized and distorted in real life. If they are wearing a mask, it must extend under the shirt because I can't see where the mask ends and their neckline begins. You see this key? This key is going to save my life. A YouTube channel called Snake Hunters TV takes a risky challenge by locking himself in with a Burmese python and hides the key. He hides the key and shuts the locked tank door behind himself. 
Now it's up to his daughter, Carista, to save his life. The snake senses a new object is near and starts flicking its tongue, trying to sense if it's food. Lock me in! <laughs> Lock me in. Am I locked in? Yep. I can't get out. He knows not to make any sudden movements or else the snake will react. He has to stay calm. When the snake gets in his lap, he knows he's in trouble and has to slowly stretch his legs out without panicking. By the end of the challenge, he's huddled in the corner with the snake pushed as far away as the claustrophobic tank allows. I'm thinking they fed the snake before making the video to make it less likely to be hostile because it hardly seems interested in him by the time he leaves. But hungry or not, crawling into the den of a 12-foot python is one challenge I could never take. Warning, once you watch this entry, you'll be itching all over. This video was shared on YouTube by Town & Country Pest Solutions Incorporated in January of 2011. It shows a bed bug infestation in Syracuse, New York. The video challenges viewers to watch the entire thing, but honestly it's so disgusting that you can't look away from it. The crew said they didn't even have to inspect for these bed bugs, as it's one of the biggest infestations they've ever seen. They show the bugs on the curtains, on the bedspread, and then the place they love the most, the mattress. Apparently, whoever was residing here never once called to report a bed bug problem. One of the crew says that evidence suggests this infant station has been going on for months. There are tons of stains on the mattress as well, from where the parasites gnawed the residents. They lift the sheet to find bed bugs crawling all over the bottom side. The infant station reaches every corner of the room, including where the ceilings meets the wall. Bed bugs are nestled up in the crevice. They pull a picture frame off the wall to find more bugs crawling on the backside. They appear in singles and in clusters. When they lift the mattress off the bed, you can see bugs scattering all over the bed spring platform. There are so many on the edge of the mattress that the colony has eaten away at the fabric, and apparently they also stink according to the crew. One of them says their dogs are usually trained to smell the bed bugs to search out the infant station, but this one is so bad that even humans can smell it. It's so creepy, you can't look away. You can particularly feel them on you now, can't you? I did warn you. Just when you think you are safe, published in July of 2017, this major fright is of the natural variety. While well, inside a Maruti showroom, a raging storm roars outside its glass storefront. Wind, rain, the whole shebang. The wind grows more hostile. It looks like the whole showroom is going through a car wash. The store's employees and customers alike watch this wild weather, feeling safe and sound inside. But they shouldn't feel safe. The scary wind suddenly blows so hard that it smashes the glass, which shatters and collapses before their very eyes. And then it's chaos. Everyone runs as far away from the storefront as they can. People are screaming. Once the cameraman gathers his bearings and turns around to have a look, you can see water and glass scattered everywhere. People are still running around in a panic. They manage to cram themselves into a compact room near the back. From there, you can see it wasn't only the front window that shattered. Another to the side is broken too, causing crosswinds to whistle through the showroom from every angle. Ceiling tiles start to fall, and the whole building seems on the verge of collapse. I hope everyone here made it out safely. A redditor named Steezy Steve 7 posted this work camera video of the creepy basement at his coffee store job. It's a quarter to one in the morning when his boss receives a phone notification of movement down there. 
This is what tripped the motion detection equipment. That looks like it could be a ghost to me, but maybe it's also a piece of a spider web? This basement looks like it has plenty of them. Can someone let me know if spider webs can set off motion detection equipment? I think they probably could, in which case, mystery solved. Is this capture on home security footage paranormal? Redditor no Bluebird 2902 doesn't think so, but will admit it does sound eerie. Give it a listen. The sound at the end is what the Redditor is referring to. They also say they live alone and no television or radio was on. Some Redditors say it's electronic music, others think it sounds like applause at a concert. If I were the Redditor who posted this, I would consider that their camera has been hacked or else there's some other interference from another device in the house. Whatever it is, sounds like a horror soundtrack to me. A group of friends are hanging out late at night when a strange yelping sound brings them to a window to investigate. Do you hear that? What the they start to argue about if it sounds like a regular animal, in distress, or some sort of rare and mysterious creature. Listen to these noises and tell me if this sounds like anything you've ever heard in the woods before. All of them soon start to feel uncertain about hanging around the open window and back away. I think it sounds like it could possibly be an animal that's being hunted but I'm not sure. What do you think is happening? And would you be brave enough to go into the woods and find out? I wouldn't. Something weird has been going in and out of the McGolfin Middle School in El Paso, Texas late at night, and this superintendent appears to have caught it on tape. Okay, so you're looking at this white thing right there. I have no idea what it is. Dude, that just, that just came out of the boys' restroom. This right here. Isn't that Paso apparently haunted too? A small white object darts from the hall into the restroom. It's a very odd shape and I can't tell if it walks on two legs or four. Or maybe it's even floating. I think it could just be a raccoon. But if this is a curious animal and not a spirit, then shouldn't it be more interested in the cafeteria or some location with food? One of the students mentions that both bathrooms on this floor are rumored to be haunted, so there's definitely a chance that this is a real ghost caught on school CCTV. If anyone goes to the school, please verify that these rumors are true or not. A doll with a creepy aura is chilling enough. So what happens when the doll actually moves? The G-Team Paranormal Investigators posted this video to YouTube in March of 2019 writing, after my recent video with Omar, I decided to take his haunted dolls home with me that night. I did not bring them inside my home. I left them in a shed out back. After watching back the video I did with Omar a few times, I decided to introduce his dolls to mine and turn the camera on. The video reveals an unsettling movement. As Patty, the host, is talking about the dolls, you can see one of the porcelain doll's heads moves ever so slightly. Because I don't want to keep her, but I'd like her to go to a good home. I mean, if there's somebody out there that's interested, I don't... Did that... God, that thing just move? As if she's listening. Is she? If she is, does she like what she's hearing? She must not have gone full on Chucky when the camera stopped rolling. So we can assume so. This window washer is apparently unconcerned with keeping his life, let alone his job. The brazen worker sees nothing wrong with standing on a ledge that's so narrow. He has to spread his feet outwards just to keep any semblance of traction. And of course, the only way to wash the window in this position is to fully shut it. Notice how there's no safety harness or any other equipment for that matter. If he loses his balance now, the only way to fall is straight down. Meanwhile, he has to rely on a spotter to open the window from the inside to let him back in. And when it's finally time to open the window, he has to wedge his arms in the frame and hold one of the most awkward positions I've ever seen. 
The cameraman, who is panicking for him, pans down to the ground to show that this video is not a joke. This is a drop he absolutely would not survive. Never take something from an abandoned property. You never know what may possess it. Posted by Gary B 8632 to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Gary explains that his sister visited an abandoned hospital months ago and removed a glass bowl and a basket from the place. Now it seems like something else came with these taken pieces. The Redditor says his sister was alone in her room around 3 a.m. However, beyond the desk, a shadow figure clearly manifests on the wall, appearing for a moment before vanishing into the darkness of the hallway. The Redditor claims that his sister has been waking up with marks ever since. Did she remove a cursed artifact from the property? And is this shadow person somehow possessing these cursed objects? Best Return these artifacts before the aggression gets any worse. This haunted home has visible spirits stalking about. Published by A Sip of Fear in January of 2022, an unsettling figure was captured in the glass during this paranormal investigation. After setting up some cameras in this haunted home, activity begins pretty quickly. A wardrobe door is captured opening and closing, and later a bang causes the paranormal investigator to jump out of his skin. In another room, a stationary camera captures a figure's reflection in the glass door of a shelf. And again, the wardrobe door opens and closes repeatedly. Is this spirit trying to tell us something? Or does she just want to be left alone? Friends are live streaming in Malaysia when some of the scariest moments of their lives are caught on camera in front of all of her followers. Shadows swirl overhead and the door slams shut even though they are the only two people home. When she looks back, her friend is no longer the same person who she's always known. If you look closely, you can see she grabs a cross out of her purse. As soon as she touches the object to her friend's arm, she screams as if the object burns her to the core. A couple other points for my final analysis. When the lights go out at 1 minute and 7 seconds, you can see a shadow person walk into the room. This shadow was caught on live stream and apparently is not special effects. 2. They are listening to some really creepy music before all of this scary stuff happens. It doesn't even sound like a song, just a slowed down chant of some kind. What is this person saying and is this related to what happened to her friend? She seems very scared when she ends the live stream, and most people seem to agree this video is both paranormal and real. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.